air for very long. Remember, she decided to pull her syndicated show when people got mad and complained to her advertisers after she used the N-word on her show 11 times? Well, here are some of that in, in case you don't remember. Black guys use it all the time. Turn on HBO, listen to a black comic, and all you hear is... I don't get it. If anybody without enough melanin says it, it's a horrible thing. But when black people say it, it's affectionate. It's very confusing. Well, yesterday we learned Schlesinger's show will only be off the air for a week. When her contract on terrestrial radio is up, she is switching over to Sirius XM. The show debuts in January. She says she will host a roundtable on racism in the first three weeks. And it should be interesting. Schlesinger has implied she's not sorry about using the N-word and that those who think she shouldn't have done it are just too politically correct and are undermining the First Amendment. Now at 9, what do you think? I've defended her. You remember when we talked about this originally? Yeah. I don't think that word should be used by anyone, mm -mm. especially those of us in the, in the African-American community. I'm always telling young people, if I hear them, do not use that word. However, I'm, 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 I applaud her for having a roundtable right out of the gate. I would like to know she who's going to be yeah. at that roundtable, yeah. who's going to be the participants at the roundtable. But she's got to address it coming right off, yeah. and, I, and I applaud her for that. Again, I don't know if she's going to go too far. I again. just have a problem with her standing by the First Amendment as her reason for using that word over and over and over. Yeah, but the, there is the argument that she didn't use it necessarily maliciously. She was trying to make a point. Right. I mean, a lot of people yeah. would argue, that's sort of what you're saying, right. Susan, is right. that she it wasn't... be used. Yeah, and, I mean, it, Ashley says this. Take a look at this Facebook comment. Ashley Arnold writes, she never used words aggressively against others. She simply pointed out the obvious. She's going on paid radio now so she can say anything she wants, which is true to an extent, but you can always get booted off a of paid radio, too. Yeah, that's right. Deanna Nichols says, as long as there's no swearing, I'm good. Everyone has their own opinion about stuff, and I love to hear it. Yeah, and uh, Garrett Allen agrees with Rebecca. No one loses their free speech, but if the powers that be who control your microphone exactly. don't like what you have to say, well, they'll take your mic away from you. You can still say it just without a mic. And Ellie Rakoff says, hey, Nazis need something to listen to on their way to work, too, but it's adorable to hear these people complain about their threatened freedom of speech. Most American workers don't get this luxury on the job. Obviously, the good doctor's out of touch with the American worker. Let's read what John had to say oh, real I'm quickly, sorry. too. Let's throw that one back up. She's on Sirius now, so anything goes. Why do you think Howard Stern went there? There's a platform for everything. If you don't like it, don't subscribe. Simple. I love how Howard is spelled in there. <laughs> how, how weird. How, how weird. weird. How weird. Yeah. Very nice. Well, and Don says the same thing on Facebook. Right. Yeah. She has the right to say what she wants. Media outlets are in a business to make money, so if she offends listeners and it adversely affects the company she works she works for. Bottom line, they have the right to terminate her employment, which they will do if she doesn't if get the right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, you 